A bounce house blew over while kids were inside. The Tin Caps president says they are working to make sure it never happens again. News Channel 15, Sarah Schaefer joins us live from Parkview Field with more. I'm right outside the fun zone at Parkview Field where things are calm right now as the game is getting ready to begin, but that definitely wasn't the case last night. Usually all eyes are on the field, but last night everyone was looking at this. There was a lot of people screaming and rushing over. The bounce house in the fun zone at Parkview Field blew over. Unfortunately, we had two little kids in it and uh, they were treated here by our, by our EMTs. Mike Nutter, the Tin Caps president, says in the almost eight years at Parkview Field, nothing like this has ever happened. Everything the staff at the Fun Zone does was done normally. We have two full-time staff members and a full-time intern that's down here every day. We take them up and put them down every single day. We check the ropes, we check the straps. It was done yesterday. But Nutter says two straps broke and wind came on quick and strong. It went from as bright and sunny as could be to a little cloudy and overcast like this is, and then it went dark and it happened quickly. As of this afternoon, all straps, ropes, and clips have been replaced. Plus, nine cement water bins weighing a few hundred pounds each are holding the inflatables down. And there's a new policy regarding weather. The manager at the fun zone can now make the call to close because of weather. Before, that person had to contact Nutter for him to make the call. But after a scary situation like this, they aren't taking any chances. It was too much for what we want here, and our goal is to make sure it never happens again. The gates just open and the bouncy house is ready, so they're hoping for another normal night. Reporting live from Parkview Field, Sarah Schaefer, News Channel 15.